The law of emulation. That's how to manage your money. By the law of emulation or the law of copying. Amen. Hebrews 6 verse 12. Be ye followers of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Be ye what? Followers. Copy a successful debt-free ministry. Amen. Copy people that don't owe money. Look closely at what they are doing. Yes. I remember a brother who decided to copy us. He has a very large church. And he was building a big church building. And he said, I decided to copy. When I heard you say, don't owe money. He said, I, and his country is debt, a debt country. He said, I decided to follow. He said, today. He said, all this he showed me, I don't owe anybody by the grace of God. He said, I thank you for giving that inspiration. So, look at somebody who is debt free in your life and genuinely prosperous and follow the same steps. Yes. I remember one pastor, he, were, he was very close to me and he saw how I built a house and I moved into my house when it was not completed. He decided to follow me. He built a house. It wasn't fully completed. He moved into his house. He called me. He said, I want to tell you that I'm in my house today. I'm staying in my house. And truly, God has blessed him. Over the years, I've watched him go higher and higher and higher and higher. So, there is a law. There's, there's even an economist called Abram, Abramovitz. And he came up with the law of surging forward and catching up. You search forward and catch up with those ahead of you. Follow that what is successful. And catch up. Catch up. Few countries are able to catch up. Few churches are able to catch up. Because the humility. The humility. Do you know how many pastors have asked me for advice about building? Do you know how many? Eh? Many. Many. Do you know how many have followed the advice? Zero. Well, not, not zero. Some have. Some have. Most, most, oh, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say most. Because maybe I'll be, I'll be wrong. Many people don't. How do you build a church? <laughs> how do you build a church? Yeah? Somebody who has done it, you wouldn't learn from the person. There are times that I've seen church buildings and said, This thing it cannot be finished. They cannot finish it. Or at least they cannot finish it now. They don't, they don't believe it. It's like, Oh, by you, you have built all this. People don't believe. So, learn to catch up. Learn to catch up. How did you get a beloved? How did you get a beloved? Oh, I came to Ghana. There are many people, they just moved to Ghana to, to get beloved. Uh, follow those who have inherited the promises. Follow. And God will bless you. Yes. Hey, brother, how were you able to build? Yes. Humility. Humility. Humble yourself. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Follow somebody who humbled himself. Yes. And you will see God will elevate you 
because you've humbled yourself to follow the hum- steps of humility in building. Yeah. High faluting plans. Big ideas. When God gave me Kolegono, I said, thank you. I didn't know anybody at Kolegono. But I accepted it. And Kolegono, which is one of the not so best areas. Hmm? Not so what? Best. Not so best. I was happy with it. I embraced it. That is where Yongi Cho came in the end. That's where Bishop Blake came. That is where um, Stevie Wonder came to the church. That is where uh, Pastor Wendell Smith came. That is where Idahosa came. That is where um, Tom Duchel from, uh, South, uh, from, from Zimbabwe came. That is where <clears throat> one Bishop Coleman. That is where we had Miracle Waves conventions. That is, where, that is where so much, this was what God gave to me. And I was okay with it. I was okay with it. But you, God will bless you with a land somewhere. Say, oh, this place is too far. I want a land at Laboni. I'm saving up to get a land at airport. <laughs> so, from today, follow the humble. You'll be surprised how blessed you'll be over there. Amen. Are you excited? Amen.